Well, good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight we are cooking up some spinach quesadillas. Um, they're just using up the last of the spinach out of the garden, all those little bits that I harvested the other day. Um, so just using them up and getting them over and done with. Uh, so this will be my last spinach dish. All right, without further ado, let's get on with the cooking. All right, folks, and here we go with the cook. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Now, I know I said spinach, but that, that's too vegetarian for me. So I'm adding in some bacon. So got a bit of bacon, a couple of cloves of garlic, which I've chopped up. You know, I'm sure you can make the vegetarian version with the cheese that's vegetarian cheese and all that sort of thing, but yeah, it's not really the thing for me. So, we're going to have some bacon in those quesadillas. And this is all the eye of the bacon. You know, I don't want it fatty or anything like that. You know, the oil's enough of that. So, we're just going with the eye, which is just purely muscle. And it hasn't got all that fat in it. All right, well, I'm just gonna brown this off a bit and we'll be back shortly. Okay, so we've got a bit of color there. Next up, we're gonna add in, uh, I've got eight spring onions chopped and also two small to medium tomatoes that are chopped up. And I'll just give them a little bit of cooking time. Not trying to cook them through, just trying to cook them down just a, just a wee bit. The spinach itself is not gonna take long to wilt down, so. Just want to take the edge of the rawness off everything else. Right. Now at this stage, now that we've got a little bit of moisture from the from the tomatoes, we've got that little bit of moisture in there. So now's the stage where I'm going to add dry seasoning. So a little bit of ground cumin seed or cumin seed, depends where you come from. A little bit of salt and I'm also going to go in with a pinch of paprika okay that's about the stage where I was wanting it to get to so now we will go in with the spinach so this is the last of my spinach the stuff I harvested the other day and the last piece off the plant as well so it has wilted down a bit in the fridge but that's fine i'll put that in there um it's probably about eight ounces there give or take um so about 240 grams something like that just going to cover that up with a lid and let it wilt down and I'll give it a couple of stirs in the meantime. All right, back shortly. All right, as you can see, that's wilted all that spinach down, stirred it up as we went, mixed it through, so it's all looking good. Now, last thing I'm going to do while we're still on heat just going to add a couple tablespoons of lime juice. Uh, lime juice will help to freshen up all the fresh ingredients um, when they've been cooked a touch. The lime juice just helps to freshen them up again so you don't lose all the fresh flavours. And also there's a fair bit of cheese in this and the acid helps to cut through the fat of that. Mix that lime juice through. 
A little bit of evaporation just so we can get some water out of it. Alright, over we go to the bench. Now the cheesy part. So we're gonna add some and I can get it open. We're gonna add some ricotta cheese in. Just for the creaminess that it's going to bring. So about half a cup. Excellent cheese. Ideally you want to use a Mexican cheese or something like that. Um, this is just a, a tasty cheese as we call it in Australia, which is a cheddar sort of style of cheese, um, which has got a wee bit of age to it. So a couple of cups of cheese, half cup of ricotta, and we will get that all mixed in with those ingredients. I'm looking to melt that ricotta and that cheddar through it. Just to get it starting to form up in a pasty sort of deal. There's something I can spread onto the tortillas. looking good. For this I've got a 12 pack of tortillas. Just going to take our mixture, make sure it's all mixed up. Okay, I just want to get one half of the tortilla. Going about half inch thick. Look at that, please. Oh, and just fold it over. So I'll prepare all these and then we'll move across and cook them up. Okay, we've got the little griddle. Now I'll probably have to spin them as I cook them because it's the flames underneath the center. I don't have a long I don't have a long element on this stove, so I'll spin them as I cook them just to make sure they get even heat. All right, if I just cook them in the center. They shouldn't take too long. As I said, I'll just move them around just to make sure that I'm getting both ends. So probably about 30 seconds. That's enough to remelt the center. that nice brown finish on the on the outside all right well i'll cook the rest of them and i will see you again shortly okay there we have our lovely little pile of case this so that's they went off
That's oozy feeling. And serve it up with a little bit of salsa. Okay. Oh, that's some good stuff. All right, everyone, there we go. We have spinach and bacon quesadillas um, served up with a little bit of salsa. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit that little bell notification uh, so you know when I've got further videos coming along. Again, thank you very much for watching, and bye for now.